Hi, we're Larkin Poe. My name is Megan Lovell. And my name is Rebecca Lovell, and we are sisters. I love 80s music. I think it's wonderful. Carry on laser. I would I would probably say I would say the 60s. I would definitely say the 60s. Musically speaking? Anything. <gasps> Ooh. I would say my guilty pleasure is Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> I would say that mine is mine candy books because I, I think we, we were raised, our parents, we were homeschooled and so our parents were always emphasizing the importance of reading really quality books, you know? And so when I get to sit down and just read a little mystery or something, I can just fly through. It's fantastic. Or even we grew up without TV, so uh, any TV shows. Like I've been really getting into Battlestar Galactica. Oh, I love it. Or the cooking channel. That's a guilty pleasure. Sound of a slide guitar. I would say, I would say tr trains on tracks, or I would say brown noise. It's like a lower version. It's like a really low frequency, just kind of hiss sound. It's extremely relaxing. You can you can go on. I think that's called like better betternoise.com, and they have a generator. Very random, but I know this. Anything repetitive, like like when it's not supposed to be there, like a, a beeping. If you're at a McDonald's, say, and the fries need to be turned off, and it's like, oh my god, what would you say? I'm actually gonna steal one of um, your pet peeves, and it is the sound of food being chewed. <laughs> yes. of being inspired, be it musically or be it, you know, people or places or... I think people in general can just be inspired like when you're walking down a street and you see somebody do something nice for somebody else. Like to me, the little small things that you're not necessarily supposed to notice, but you see somebody do something that is very inspiring. I think I would go for the small moments that people, small moments of kindness in the random stranger. Right now, they're fantastic. Another Atlanta band. 